All right, Shalom, Yashrallah. Peace, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule one who has taught us this truth. And also, peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out there laboring truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth, under the standard and the banner of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who people eagerly call God. Bahashim is in the name. Yahweh shall be in the name of our Lord and Savior, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, the Lord and Savior of Israel, who you so called Blacks, Hispanics, Native, uh, and Seminole Indians. All right. Uh, uh, but truly, uh, his name is Yahweh Shah, but people ignorantly call him Jesus Christ. All right. Um, Bahashim, once again, is in the name. Waka Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And that was said in Alashwan Kodash, which is the Holy Tongue. Which is uh, 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 um, the Paleo Hebrew, and that word Paleo going back to the ancient Hebrew. All right, this is the brother Karab here from the GMS Boston camp, and uh, uh, just here to do another lesson to feed the flocks of uh, Yahabah Shemal Shah, and Lord's will that this lesson be edifying. And um, as you see on the screen, this is from uh, this is an article I have from RT News, and I'm gonna just jump straight in. And this is uh, the title. This was posted September 18th, 2020. All right, which is so I can believe today yep so it says cure worse than the disease 30 million face starvation as COVID-19 economic economic shutdown hurt most vulnerable UN food chief one this is the social and economic consequences of po policies purported purportedly adapted to stop the spread of COVID co coronavirus could actually be far more deadly than the actual disease the head of the UN hunger fighting body has cautioned. 30 million people are at risk of perishing if the World Food Program doesn't receive more funding. The, the, the agency chief, David Beasley, told the UN, Secretary, Sec 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 UN Security Council, so far this year, the, the WFP, which once again is the World Food Program, has provided aid to 85 million people. But the coronavirus pandemic has strained resources and created and created a greater need for assistance. He said, 4.9 billion will be needed to ensure that tens of millions of people completely dependent on UN aid to survive do not die. He called on the world's billionaires, many of whom have seen enormous profit during the pandemic to help prevent mass starvation. All right. And it says, we're doing just about all we can do to stop the dam from bursting. But without the resources we need, a wave of hunger and famine still threatens to sweep across the globe. Note, noted Beeson, much of his agency work focuses on providing relief to citizens in war zones such as Yemen. But the restriction imposed worldwide to combat COVID-19 have further is is the tongue twister um exacerbated these humanitarians crisis it says he said sensible measures allegedly implemented to stop the spread of the virus must not interfere with supply chains and trade and nations must guard against unintended consequences of the coronavirus policies. Right, cautioning that they could hit poor people the hardest. COVID-19 restriction could be particularly devastated for Africa. Beasley said, cited a study which estimated that for every coronavirus death prevented, as many as 80 children may die due to lack of routine immunization. So there is a grave danger that many more people will die from the from the broader economic and social consequences of COVID-19 than the virus itself, especially in Africa. And the, the last thing we need is to have the cure be worse than the disease itself. All right. So uh, this is going into uh, a famine. All right. This is this is a famine being issued up. And this been this been uh, uh you know this is yeah the work of the working of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, all right because 
during the uh, beginning of the year when the COVID-19 uh, 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 pandemic, pandemic started to soar and skyrocket, you know, and, and they had these lockdowns, a lot of companies uh, shut down, a lot of uh, food plants, you know, they, 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 they wasn't processing food, you know, because a lot of people received, uh, end up getting the COVID-19, all right, a lot of farmers was producing a lot of crops, but there wasn't anyone to buy them. So what they was doing, they was getting rid of it and, 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 and crushing it. So, you know, this it, it, by, by them saying that the cure is worse than the disease, that's them taking those desperate measures to try to uh, 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 make sure that, you know, that they're, they're caution about this COVID-19 spreading, but it's, all, it's, it's affecting them. That's them shooting themselves in the foot, all right? Because what? What it's doing is slowing down the process, it's slowing down the help for the food and uh, the food and uh, 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 you know the food and drink, you know, in the shelter, you know. So 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 that's why they're saying that he needs more funding to help these people out. All right, but once again, hey man, this is this is this is of uh, uh, the scriptures, man, and this is this is inev inevitable. It will happen and it will come. All right, this is what the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is doesn't has designated for the world. All right. He's gonna go and he's gonna go and I'm gonna go into a few precepts and it's gonna show you that the heavenly Father is gonna bring a famine into this land, and this famine is gonna be worse than ever before. Because if you look at this article right here, it says famine famine of biblical proportion looms over humanity due to COVID-19. You have UN food chief warned. All right, and this what is it saying? It's, it says a famine of biblical proportion. Why use those words? All right, why are they using those words? Because they know. Uh, the, the, this is this is something that happened in history, and they know that this is something that's coming straight out the scriptures, man. All right, they know that it's something that they can't contain, they can't stop. All right, so I'm gonna just go straight to my first precept. All right. Go to my first precept. And it says, uh, you know what? Let me let me let me start off with Second Ezra. So lucky. That's to set the tone. Second Ezra fifteen and one, and it reads, "Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord." All right. And what are we doing? We're speaking the words of prophecy. What is prophecy? What is uh, the word prophecy or prophesy means? It's to say before it happens. All right. As the Lord said, He declares the end from the beginning. So that's why He's He, he put the words in the prophet's mouth because the the, the prophets are reading and, and speaking the words that it, that came from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. To prophesy and to, to 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 deliver this message. All right. And it says. Uh, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So these words are faithful and true. All right. Romans 3 and 3 says, so what if some did not believe with the... Let me just grab that real quick. Romans 3 and 3. Because that's the, that's the, that's the, that's 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 what's going on, man. The, the, the Lord is doing his work. And, and whether people believe or not, you know, they, they it's going to happen. All right. This is Romans 3 and 3 says, but what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah without effect? It says, God forbid. All right. Yahweh forbid. Let let the most high be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome without our judge. All right. So it says, A, hey, the most high forbid, man. Eh? Yahweh Bashim Al Shah forbid. That 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 these words is not gonna that they're not gonna come true because you don't believe. All right, just because a person don't believe doesn't mean that it's going to stop the program, man. Everything must go, you know. The, the, the wheels are still spinning, all right. And, and not, not just only that it's spinning, it's, it's starting to spin faster and faster. It's starting to pick up speed, all right. So that's the prophecies, all right. All right, this is verse uh, 3. It says, Fear not the imagination against thee, and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. All right, I'm talking about the doubts. Don't let the doubts in them uh, uh, affect you. All right, the naysayers. Don't let them, them let them uh, sway you off, because what? It's this is going to go into it. Verse four says, "For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness." All right. Verse five. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues. I will bring plagues upon the world, world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right. And as you see, he said he's going to bring. 
He's going to bring the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right? That's all judgment. All right? All different ways of judgment. Yahweh Hashem is going to bring plagues unto the world in which we are seeing it. All right? The year 2020 has been a, 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 a great year for Yahweh Hashem All right? And the prophets. All right? Because of the vibration that's been going out, because of the truth been going out. All right? You're seeing, you're seeing these prophecies unfold, man. All right, we've seen the prophecy unfold, and we've seen them hit and hit hard. All right, now you have the average citizen don't know they don't know what to do. You know they're running like chickens with their head cut off. But the Lord, the Lord has it where he, these things is, is happening, and He said He's gonna bring famine, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, it says verse um, <clears throat> verse six: For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous brother cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right. And it says, verse 9, And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. It said, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, and I will, suffer, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. All right, in the modern day Egypt is uh, Babylon. All right, uh, America, spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. Let me grab that real quick. All right, bear with me. All right, this is um, verse eight. Uh, uh, Revelations 11 and 8 It says And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city Alright which, uh, which you know Babylon Babylon the great Alright America is, which, is, which is spiritual Which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt Where also our Lord is crucified Alright Sodom in Egypt Because of the acts Alright Because of the acts that are taking place Alright Egypt is synonymous with bondage And our people was her carried here to serve out uh, slavery, man. Our people are still in bondage to this day. All right? And you can tell when it says uh, 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 spiritually Sodom, hey, man, that's self-explanatory, man. Look how worse and worse this place has gotten. That's why the Lord said the wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth because not just only that America is taking place in America, but that philosophy has been pushed on the four corners of the earth, man. We have these other nations taking part of the, the wickedness that is that is going on. All right, drinking the wine of the wrath of a fornication. I mean, Salaki, they have drunken the wine of Babylon. All right. It, that's why the scripture says, um, it says, uh, what was it, Jeremiah? Jeremiah, uh, it's 51. Oh, yep, verse 7 says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken, and the nations have drunk it of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. All right, and that's what I was going to, you know, that, that, that Babylon had been a golden cup, so that great city had to be Babylon, and all these nations had uh, uh, took on the philosophies, the ways of, of America, hence why the Lord is bringing judgment upon the world. All right, so going back. All right. So going back, um, verse eleven it says, "But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm." So this is Second Ezra fifteen and eleven. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. All right. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with plagues, and the punishment of Yahweh Bashim Shah shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blast and the hail and with a fearful consolation. All right. Those that till the ground. All right. Talking about uh, 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 workers, man. You know, farmers. All right. For their seed shall fail. All right. And what is that going to? That's, that's the famine. All right. This is verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people stand up and fight against another and swords in their hand. And look. Once again, the year 2020, the year of prophecy, you know, as you see, these things were taking place. All right. You have in Black Lives Matter going against uh, 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 
Black Lives Matter and Antifa going against uh, the Trump supporters, you know, uh, against the police. You have uh, uh, race wars brewing up. All right. So it says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hand. You have an Esau Edom preparing for a race war, man. You have these, these Edomites out here, these gun-toting Edomites preparing for that time where uh, um, they get to go out there and they get to uh, uh, wreak havoc on Jake, man. All right? And then you also have Jake, on the other hand, is getting ready and getting prepared to fight against Esau. All right? And you're going to have other nations uh, going against each other. All right? And it says, For there shall be sedition among men, all right, speaking out uh, against the government, and it says, and invading the one another, and they shall regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right, and it says, a uh, a man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be be afraid. All right, because of the times that we're coming in, these times, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. It's coming fast and, and and listen hey man as the scripture says it's gonna be a time like never before all right people don't they don't they don't go to sleep and wake up expecting the time of trouble all right they don't go to except for the the, the, the those that have been watching all right watching the signs watching you how waiting for you about shima shot paying attention to the prophecies but to the world the world is not paying attention to prophecy all right they're not going to sleep and waking up expecting a, a day to change uh, one day that uh, this this world that we live in can change, this life that we live can change. All right. Hence why this says that men shall be afraid. It says a men shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread. All right. And what is that? A lack of bread is a famine. All right. For great uh, and for great tribulation. All right. To show you, man, that that's how. Uh, 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 it's gonna get people more stirred up and, 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 and get them more angry and upset because there's no food out. All right. So this is what the Lord's bringing. This Lord is bringing tension. All right. The Lord is bringing harsh tension to the world by way of these plagues. All right. All right. This is um Second Ezra sixteen. In 17, it says, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? And what days is he talking about? The time of Jacob's trouble. The times to come. All right? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? All right? He says, all these things is the beginning of it. He said, what should I do when these evils shall come? All right? For those that are, that, are, that, are, that are taking heed to the words of the prophet, to the men of Yahweh Bashim al that are out there laboring and feeding the flocks of Yahweh Bashim al in truth and sincerity, you will know that the, the protection is coming from on high if you believe and if you repent. All right? But for those out there that, that are just lollygagging and bullshitting, guess what, man? There's, a, there's, there's, there's judgment uh, 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 waiting at your door. All right? It says, Behold, famine and plagues and tribulations and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. All right? So this is what the Lord's bringing. He's bringing these scourges. He's bringing these... Uh, 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 and, and with that word scourge going to a whip. Right? Let me look into it real quick. I'm going to look up two words real quick. Scourge. It says, a uh, It says, Whip. Especially one used to inflict pain or punishment, an instrument of punishment or criticism, a cause of wide and great affliction. And this is what the, this is what the Lord's bringing. And it says verb, scourge or scourging, to uh, flop, whip, to punish severely, afflict, to drive as if by blows of a whip, chastise. All right. So this is how the Lord's chastising and, 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 and punishing the world. The Lord is punishing the world. By way of these plagues. Alright. It says. Verse 20. It says. But for all these things. They shall not turn from their wickedness. Nor be always mindful of the scourges. So these people's not going to pay attention. They not. They don't care. Alright. They're not paying attention to what's going on. They're not really analyzing what's going on. Alright. You have this. Uh, 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 what is it? The, 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 the UN. Uh, 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 what is it? Salah. Okay, let me go back to that article again. 
the UN food chief, all right, going out saying that 30 millions can face starvation as COVID-19 academic, uh, econ uh, econ economic shutdown hurts most um, vulnerable, all right? And what he said, the poor people are going to uh, be affected. And who are the poor people, man? Who are those that are poor? It's those that live in your, 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 the ghetto. Your, 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 um, what is it? You call them the minorities. All right. These people are going to be affected the most. All right. These grocery stores only hold up to three days worth of food. All right. Showing you that these places got it. They got it. That's why they always have sh uh, trucks coming in. They always have shipments coming in. All right. And then you're dealing with food. Food goes bad. All right. So if it's just sitting, this is going to go bad. All right. H how much more when these trucks start bringing in these food, man? All right. That's, a, that's, the, that's the way the, the most has punishing the people, punishing the world, man. Because these people are hard-headed. They stiff neck. You have two-thirds of our people are hard-headed and stiff neck. You know, and then you have these heathens that just lollygagging, just doing whatever they want. But two-thirds of our people are hard-headed. They do not want to take heed. This is, this is, uh, 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 the scripture says, um, uh, choose ye this day life or death, right? Because at the end of the day, life and death coming from your Shem Yahweh Shah. All right? So what do you do? You want to be on this good side, but two-thirds of our people is not going to, they're not going to hurricane. So what the Lord's going to do, he's going to punish them. For the uh, for the acts and for their wicked ways, man, and and, and the main uh, a way a main way that they're gonna get punished is by starvation. All right, uh, verse twenty one it says, "Behold, victory shall be so good cheap upon earth that they think themselves to be in good case. So food shall be so cheap, so good they can it's it's, it's very accessible that they're gonna think that man, you know it, it is what it is. They they, they it, it it'll get back to normal." All right, beginning of, uh, when COVID-19 hit, these grocery stores was uh, didn't have a lot of meat, you know, didn't have a lot of meat, didn't have a lot of water. A lot of stuff was missing on the shelves. You had uh, stores full of people, you know, people just buying toilet paper, out of, all, all crazy, you know. Showing you that, you know, these people, when that time hit, that's when they start, be, that's when they're more concerned. But now that everything's back up and running, you really think they have that same mindset now? Do you really think they have the same mindset that this food, it might not ever, the, 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 it's going to be one day that these shelves might not be packed back up or stocked back up? All right. So once again, to verse 21, it says, Behold, victory shall be so good cheap on, upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And th and even then shall evils grow upon the earth. So lock it for the north. And, e and then e shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. All right. Once again, a famine is 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 is, is, is a, a, a spirit that's created for vengeance, man. That's that's a harsh death. Man. Scripture talks about it. All right. It says, "For many of them that dwell on the earth shall perish of famine," and that's what he said. That's what the article saying. Thirty million. Thirty million face starvation. All right. They these these they, they're crying out for help. They crying out for the resources, man. To help these people out But it says once again Verse 22 For many of them that dwell upon the earth Shall perish of famine And the others that escape the hunger Shall die Shall the sword destroy And their dead body and, and, their de and the dead shall be cast out as done And there shall be no man to comfort them For the earth shall be waste And the city shall be cast down Alright Showing you man Hey The Lord the Lord is bringing that famine And it's, and it's heating up all right, I'm going to jump to uh, Ezekiel uh, 7 and 10. It says, Behold, the day, behold, it is come. The morning is gone forth. The rod hath blossomed. Pride had budded. Violence is ris risen unto a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor their multitude, nor of any of theirs, neither shall they be wailing for them. The time has come that they draweth near. Let not the buyers rejoice nor the sellers mourn for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof for the seller shall not return to that which he which is sold although they were yet alive for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof which shall not return neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life they have blown the trumpet 
even to make all ready, but none goeth to the battle. My wrath is upon all of the multitude thereof. And that trumpet's being blown. The Lord, the Lord said, lift up your voice as a trumpet. You know what I'm saying? Show my people their transgression. This this trumpet is being blown. The, the men of the Lord, the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, starting with great millstone, all right, are on the highways and the byways constantly warning the people. Telling people to get ready for these times because and, and, and repent because these times are gonna be dark, man. All right. And so it says, once again, verse 14, the trumpet have been blown even to make all ready. All right. And when you read um second second Ezra, it says, even in, it'll be uh make you ready to the battle, and those evils be ye as pilgrims. All right. So once again, it's talking about making you ready to the battle. All right. Verse 14 again, it says, They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none goeth to the battle. For my wrath is upon the multitude, all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the famine, and the, and the, the, the pestilence, and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. So, what are they saying now? Who are the, prime, uh, the, the main faces of catching COVID 19? Or, 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 or or in the sense of them pushing the vaccine on. Let's talk about Jake. You so-called blacks, Spanish, Native, and Seminole Indians. All right? You're the face of who they should deal with according to, uh, with those, those, those vaccination shots, man. And where is they living? In the city. All right? Once again, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. All right? So, and also famine. Think about it. When you have a lot of people bunched up together, you know, that's, that's, you know, a lot of people bunched up in the area, you know, just imagine you have one corner store nearby and you have these people. Just imagine, man, it, it, it's going to get terrible, man. And then when there's no food, just imagine how, 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 uh, how uh, chaotic it's going to be. So, you know, as it says, those that are in the field shall die of the sword and he that is in the city. Famine and, and pestilence shall devour him. All right. I had another precept. Let me try to find it. Let me Bear with me. Spear with me real quick. Lock it. Just bear with me, real quick. Sixty-five. Yep. All right. Because this is why. This is why. This. So when you take heed, as the scriptures say, you gotta make yourself ready to the battle. How do you make yourself ready to the battle? Is taking heed to what the scriptures say, man. Taking heed to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, knowing the names first and foremost, calling and believing in those names, praying to those names. You know, repenting, turning from your wicked ways, man, and stop doing that. And and, 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 and and listen and paying attention to what the word, what the prophecies are uh, uh, saying, man. What the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha are saying by way of the prophets and paying attention to prophecies. That are, this is how you making yourself ready to the battle, all right? Because the Lord is going to reward those that turn back to Him, man. He's going to protect those, all right. Psalms ninety one goes into it, all right, and then the Book of Job also goes into it, all right, about that protection from on high, all right. But, and also, uh, I'm going to get this is Isaiah 65, and I'm going to just end it off on this. It says, um, I'm going to start at, um, yeah, I'm gonna start at verse 12. Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer, and when I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. All right, so that's talking about two thirds of Israel, man. The wicked, the wicked people, the wicked among our people. Verse 13, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat. And who is the servant? All right. Those that are doing uh, the, the will of Yahweh Hashem al that is doing the work of Yahweh Hashem al in truth and sincerity. Let's look that word up, servant, real quick. So I can get a proper understanding. It says, slave, servant, slave, servant, man, servant, subject. 
It says servants, worshiper of the Most High. All right. Servants in the special sense as prophets. All right. Servants, Israel. All right. So servants of the Most High, man. Uh, uh, worshippers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Starting with the prophets. All right. And then you have the 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 the, the believers. All right. But you have to believe. You have to uh, 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 believe in, in, in sincerity and truth, man. The truth of the scriptures, man. Once again, therefore said the Lord, Behold, my servants, the Lord Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat. To those that believe and call upon the name of Yahweh Shem because the Lord said, What? Uh, 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 think not the. Uh, don't think about what you you should, what you should eat, what you should put on. You know, because he said he, he feeds the birds. How much more important or how much more special are we? All right. But ye shall be hungry, behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And why are we going to rejoice? Because Yahweh Bashim El Shah is coming through. I don't want to out, we part of that elect. All right? That, that the Lord is coming through, we're going to rejoice. All right? Just like, just like when the Lord did, Yahweh Shah did miracles on the scene, those people rejoiced. All right? So how much more now in these times when the Lord is going to provide us food, you know, and, and water and shelter, you know, and protection. All right. We're going to rejoice. We're going to be happy. Is that, that, that you're, it's going to be so uh, uh, it's gonna, you're going to be so uplifted by the works of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in these times to come that people are going to see it on you and they're going to know the difference on you. They're going to know something different about you. All right. And they're going to want to try to cleave unto you. All right, it says uh, verse uh, verse verse fourteen. It says, "Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit." All right, and that and that's and that's and that's the, that's the key point, man. You know, so with the Lord Yahweh Shemal Shah, man, what he's doing is he's 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 purging the earth, man. He's getting rid of the wicked. All right, he's getting rid of the wicked. All right, and that's why it's ta it talks about a, 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 um, the the Lord's chosen is going to be tried like gold in the fire. All right, because wh what's going to happen? We're going to have to go through that time of, uh, 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 of famine, the time of pestilence, the time of judgment that's coming upon the earth. But the Lord's going to protect His elect, and I don't want Rantas out. We be a part of that elect, you know. But hey, and just just want to touch on a quick lesson. The Lord's will that this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Akakadash. The bond to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well once again in peace and salutation to the hopeful left. With that, we say shalom and a baba ball. Kwame Yashirala.